This is another SciTech Report. Controlled Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona. No ordinary tomorrows. We see the effects of global climate change in our communities. The image of troops at rice distribution centers is fast becoming a regular sight Top in Asia. In Many countries country these are extraordinary times. Children are suffering from malnutrition. And these are among the extraordinary opportunities the world faces today. On our earth and beyond, global vision and solutions are found in controlled environments agriculture. Its roots deep in land grant and desert traditions of the University of Arizona. Dr. Cherry Kubota, CEAC plant scientist on efficient resource use. Compared to open field, for example, water use efficiency is probably five to seven times better. Um, you know, water use efficiency is basically how much biomass you can produce per unit volume of water uptake. And that efficiency is um, very, very good. For any food produced to support life, efficiency is only part of the story. Dr. Pat Rohrabau on practice yeah, for sustainability. We are looking at controlled environment agriculture. We're looking at hydroponics. We're growing whole plants. There's a lot of, of experimentation right now, so you always need to, to take what people have done in the laboratory and move it into practice, and that's, and that's what we do. These are among the keys CEAC Applied Research has found as it moves to support life for space travel sponsored by NASA and the National Science Foundation. That research began with greenhouse applications to feed the South Pole Station in the ice desert of Winter's Dark. Raytheon's Lane Patterson controls South Pole food production from CEAC in Arizona. We can look at how the chamber's doing through our control system. It's a window. It's a window into South Pole. Other new windows opened by integrating people and emerging precision technologies using an international and interdisciplinary vision on applied global science for faculty, students, and the practice of controlled environments agriculture. Dr. Murat Kassira brings a keen, fresh perspective to CEAC's work. Precision agriculture is very important, in, especially in fuel operations, but we're interested in precision farming or smart technologies in controlled environment applications as well. If we can combine growers' experiences with intelligence sensing and monitoring, we can establish better quality in crop production and optimized resource use efficiency. Controlled environment agriculture can make it possible for each of us on Earth to have efficient, sustainable, and abundant food, air, and water for life. It is service to those who live and produce food on Earth that drives CEAC to realize ways to carry life on to the moon, Mars, or wherever people will go for each person who leads us beyond Earth's sheltering skies. Dr. Jean Giacomelli leads the University of Arizona CEAC. The goal is to sustain one person indefinitely by recycling the nutrients, the water, and providing energy, say, from the sun, to grow the plants, to make the oxygen, to make the fresh water, and life goes on and on and on. Solutions for living on our challenged planet are found in imaginative use of the future. Controlled Environment Agriculture Center is unique to help feed this world, precisely because its work will feed those who go beyond the ordinary, those who will go to the stars. This has been another SciTech Report.